Pat, I'm Toastmaster, one minute. Our third speaker <coughs> is Eric Biden-Diggin. Illusions. Illusions. Eric Biden-Diggin. A magician's greatest tool is his ability to convince his audience that what they see is far different than reality. A magician will create the illusion of the impossible, and then right before our very eyes, change perception. Now reality tells us that I cannot put a knot in this string without letting go. As you can see, our reality can quickly be changed. And I'm Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. Like magic, many of the events that happen in our lives oftentimes can appear as an illusion. The problems and challenges that we face, which first may appear as a roadblock, can lead us to our greatest blessings. If I were to come out and I were to ask you, who here needs more trials, tribulations, and adversity in their life? You'd probably think I were crazy. And for those of you that know me, you probably already think that I am. <laughs> but if I were to come out and I were to ask you, who here is ready for their next great achievement in financial windfall? If you're like me, you'd probably jump up and say, what do I sign? But there lies the illusion. We require both experiences. Because it is in the fight that we rise to the greatest of heights. My goal over the next few minutes that I have with you tonight is to encourage you to flip the script on the adversities in your life. Because I'm of the belief that your next breakthrough could very well come as a result of your next struggle. So by show of hands, raise your hand if you've ever had a problem or challenge in your life that was difficult to overcome. That's the easy question, huh? What I'd like you to do is hold that in your mind, because we're going to come back to that in just a minute. Not too long ago, I had my own challenge to do. I wish you could have been there. I was on vacation up north with my wife and young daughter. We were having the time of our lives. It got to be about 10 o'clock in the evening, and my cell phone rang. I didn't think much of it until I looked down at the number and up at my wife. Back down at the number, up at my wife, it said, the call is coming from our home. Now normally this wouldn't be unusual, other than my entire family was with me. No one should have been in the house. So I quickly answered and said, who is this? The voice replied, who is this? I said, wait a second, who is this? You called me, what are you doing in my home? After a short pause, voice answered, this is the police department. There's been a robbery. You need to come back immediately. Now, do you ever get that feeling like you've just been punched in the gut and all the wind's been taken out of you? That's exactly how I felt. So I jumped in the car, drove throughout the entire night to get back home. As I pulled in the driveway, the first thing I saw was the front door had been kicked in and was now laying in the hallway. There were two police dusting from fingerprints, and trust me, a whole lot of questions needed to be answered. Family heirlooms, personal documents, and my faith in humanity had all been taken. The only thing that was left were the bills and my wife's two cats. <laughs> Come on. At least they could have had the courtesy to take the cats. <laughs> For days, such a thing, why me? The more I thought about it, the angrier I became. My wife and I felt violated. She even said to me, Eric, I'm afraid to sleep in our own home. As I walked throughout the house, trying to make sense of the situation, I ran across a book that had been thrown to the floor. As I reached down to pick up the book, a passage 
jumped out of me. It was a quote from the great Napoleon Hill. In a red, for every adversity, there's the seed of an equivalent for greater benefit. And it hit me. The thieves could take my possessions, but they cannot rob me of my spirit. It reminded me that I still have my loved ones and the hope that each and every one of us carries inside of us for a better tomorrow. So I went out and renewed the relationships that mattered to me most. I called my mother, my brother, my father, my uncle, my sister. And okay, I texted my in-laws. But you get the point. A short time later, my uncle passed away. If it had not been for that robbery, I never would have made that phone call to tell him one last time that I love them. So let's go back to the problem I asked you to hold in your mind. Think for a moment what you needed to do to overcome that situation. And think about the lessons that you learned as a result of it. It is these life lessons that are critical to allowing us to become the person we truly want to be and critical to our next breakthrough. The late Jim Rohn has said it best. Don't ask for things to be easier. Rather, ask to be better. Like magic. Many of the events that happen in our lives oftentimes can appear as an illusion. Please remember that through your next struggle could result in your next great breakthrough. Madam Toastmaster.